All right, what's up, guys? So for anyone who's hypersensitive out there, I'm just going to make a quick disclaimer right now. I'm not hating on anyone. I'm not hating on any of these physiques. These are all top-level physiques. This is just a critical analysis from my viewpoint and from what I believe that men's physique was intended to be. So what happens is it seems the gap between men's physique and classic physique are beginning to get smaller in terms of size and even physiques. Um, in the past years and even this last year, we saw a bunch of the top men's physique guys at the Olympia rival more of that classic bodybuilding look than the original athletic beach body kind of look that men's physique was intended to capture. So what we're going to do here is we're going to compare the 2018 Mr. Olympia men's physique category versus the classic physique. Um, to start out, we have Brandon Hendrickson, the 2018 Mr. Olympia for men's physique, and of course, Breon Ainsley, the classic physique Mr. Olympia, winning this year for the second straight year. As you can see, Breon is 5'7", 180 stage weight, versus Brandon Hendrickson, excuse me, who's 5'9", 185 on stage. This is via his Instagram, and there's pretty comparable. And look, I'm not trying to take away from Breon or say that Brandon could hop over to Classic, no sweat, and be Mr. Olympia. I'm just saying that their physiques are comparable. Real point here is that the size of them is near the same level, and we're also going to focus on Brandon's stage weight. So when Classic Physique was introduced, it brought in a set of height and weight classes with it, which many people believed would force a lot of men's physique guys to jump into the Classic division who were getting too big. Brandon is billed at 5'8 by most sources, but he claims 5'9, and even giving him the benefit of the doubt, the weight limit for his height would be 192 pounds per the IFBB website. So at 185 pounds stage weight, this would put Brandon Hendrickson near the top of his weight limit had he competed a division up in classic physique, which of course is intended to be a step up from men's physique in terms of size. And then we have four-time Mr. Olympia Jeremy Buendia, who's also 5'8". He said via his Instagram as well that he was 187 at the Olympia, which again would push that threshold of the classic physique weight limits. Again, a category, like I said, which is intended to be bigger than men's physique. So b between Jeremy Potvin, Raymond Adams, Ferguson, so forth, this division is filled with some pretty big guys at that, but also guys who possess a classic physique look. Just perhaps maybe a little smaller. I couldn't get a stage weight on any of these guys to confirm if they would have been underweight or overweight had they competed a division up in classic physique. But it just seems that men's physique has lost touch with what it was intended to be. It seems kind of like it's becoming a classic physique junior or something. At this point, men's physique has honestly just become more of a shill for money. Men's physique is hands down probably the most popular division in the IFBB or the NPC in terms of contestants, people who sign up and actually compete. It's definitely the largest category division. Um, there's there's hundreds of pros. There might even be over a thousand pros in the men's physique division, yet it only awards prize money at the Olympia to the top three finishers and for a total of 30000 at that. But prize money and the division popularity aside, I think one of the biggest issues with men's physique is the lack of consistency. If you take a look at the gap between local show winners and the pro scene and even the national level, Men's physique is just kind of all over the place. You can go to local shows and see people who train for a year or less than a year go and take a whole show while seeing someone who's perhaps a national level ready physique get marked down because they're too big. But yet that's the, the size that should be, you know, that competitors should be shooting for. So let's just take a look at how fast the division has evolved um, we're going to start by looking back at the 2014 Mr. Olympia, which was the second time it appeared at the Mr. O, and it was also the first year Jeremy Bondia won. And we're going to compare him to what he brought to the 2018 Mr. Olympia. So let's remember, when this division was originally announced, it was actually deemed the Ziz division, or many people thought it was inspired by Ziz, or kind of that whole aesthetics revolution that Ziz had birthed, which was kind of more of like a look that Steve Cook or Jeff Side possessed and less of what we see out of someone like Jeremy Buendia or Jeremy Potvin or Brandon Hendrickson who have these kind of superhero freaky bodies. 
Um, the aesthetics look at that time was more beach body, more achievable kind of look. So again, it seemed the, the division was heading more towards Jeff Side, Ryan Terry, Rob Riches, Steve Cook. Um, many people have predicted Steve Cook really to take the O or to finish top three and, and kind of be the face of that division. Um, and if you look, the contestants didn't really have that freaky look we saw at this last year's 2018 Mr. Olympia. Again, it was more of a beach body, athletic kind of look, and it's kind of developed more into a superhero look. And back at that time, Sadiq was being critiqued for being too big for men's physique. And I'm not trying to say that the division shouldn't grow and the, the physique shouldn't evolve. Obviously, Jeremy Buendia, four years later, should make improvements. He should be better. He should be more polished. I'm just proposing the thought that a lot of the top men's physique guys are now rivaling the top classic physique guys. And I think that there should be a larger gap between the two divisions. Um, I don't know. That's just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you think men's physique has lost its focus on what the division is originally intended to be? Do you think these guys are getting too big? Comment. Let me know. Am I just tripping out? I just think that some of these guys are getting too big for the division. But yeah, whatever. Comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Goodbye.